So a lot of organizations are thinking about what they need to do to encourage women to develop into leadership roles or to grow the ranks of women in leadership roles. And many of them find themselves scratching their heads saying, well, you know, we think about it, we, we wrote it down, it's a strategy, we have mentorships and we have programs and we do have some women in leadership, why are the ranks not growing? And oftentimes when you look underneath what's going on, you'll find that there are simple things that actually derail the strategy that they have around bringing women into leadership ranks. For instance, a lot of the career paths for um, key professions inside of organizations were not really laid out thinking about the kinds of life decisions that women are making along that career path. So in other words, they built a generic career path years ago without really thinking about what is happening inside of a contemporary woman's life during that time. So for a professional woman now in her 30s instead of 20s having children, potentially caring for parents or other extended relatives. And so we create these unintentional rub points inside of an organization that signal to women that they really can't have that kind of leadership role without sacrificing all of the other things that they're responsible for. And so companies need to get a lot more intentional about looking at those career paths and really identifying, have they thought through where they could be derailing some people from making decisions? Simple things like geographic rotations and, and where that's been set. Well, after 15 years, you need to do your rotation in Asia. Well, that woman is now 40, potentially with a, a five-year-old and a seven-year-old caring for parents and is not able to just pick up quickly and move to Asia, but that is table stakes to take on the next leadership role. And it's things like that that companies have to get better about identifying and then creatively thinking about, well, how could that career path look different and match what's going on in a woman's life at that time so we don't lose the next generation of female leadership.